live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Lisa Martin with Stu Miniman. The Cube coming to you from Dell Technology World 2019. Day one, there's only about 15,000 people here and about 4,000 of Dell Technologies closest partners. We're very pleased to welcome back one of our alumni to the Cube. Chris McNabb, the CEO of Dell Boomi. Chris, thanks for joining us. Lisa, it's great to be here, Stu. Great to see you again. You know, it's really exciting. This morning, we've had such an electric day, and it's only, well, I'd say we're halfway through day one. Yeah. This morning's keynote kicked off with a lot of energy. First of all, I have to say, Michael Dell coming out to Queen music, that was for me, you had me at hello. With yep, <laughs> after me too. After seeing Bohemian Rhapsody, I know, it was right? the only he way to go. He must be a fan of the movie. Exactly. Yeah, Chris, so, do you have your walk-on music picked yet? I, I don't yet, I'm still kind of shuffling through a couple different options. Okay, well we can help with that. We're music fans too. Gotcha. But so much excitement, so much energy, so much collaboration uh, across all of Dell's brands. Michael saying, with big energy, Boomi is leading with cloud data integration. Talk to us about what's going on at Boomi. We were with you guys about five months or so ago at Boomi World. Right. What's happening now? What's exciting you? So, so every day is exciting at Boomi. We continue to grow extraordinarily rapidly uh, across the world and we are focused on accelerating business outcomes for our customers. It is simple as that. Uh, our customer, it's why our customers stay with us. We have over a 97% retention rate, so we're successful at doing that. And when you can come in and produce wins for people, you know, they have data silos all over the place. They, they want, they need to be able to reconnect their systems, apps, databases, but also their processes, people, and devices. And once you look at that whole landscape, when you can come in and reunify that for them in a way in which they can engage customers, partners, or employees in new ways, it's just a huge win, and it's it's a pleasure to get up out of bed every morning with that problem. Yeah, Chris, it's, it's a powerful story. I have to admit, it actually, it took me a little while to kind of squint through and understand what 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 Boomi did, because you know, a lot of times it's like, oh, it's the cool cloud native, you know, new factor, everything like that, and we understand getting from the applications that I have today to you know, whatever that digitalization, monetization, modernization I have is challenging and there's multiple ways to get there. So yep. if I can, the thing that was exciting is you know, you know, we hear a lot, you know, let's meet you where you are. And a lot of that is you know, my applications, my processes, my workflows. So to, monetize, to modernize and go through that digital transformation, some of it is to create brand new, but a lot of that is how do I get the, what I have to that new multi-cloud environment. And that was the shout out I heard from Michael this morning about Pivotal, VMware, and Boomi yep. as part of that spectrum to help get us there. Do, do I have that right? Yeah, Stu, you do. Yeah. It's just, listen, hybrid IT is going to be here a really long time. People are going to try and you know, survive a, a scenario where you've got 15 different apps built by 15 different vendors, you've got shadow databases, you've got all this stuff, all, and you're like, but I've got customer data everywhere. So when you're looking for something as simple as a list of customers, what list? None of those data sources are the same. So how do you aggregate that? How do you filter that? How do you do it? So, so Boomi doesn't want people to just survive hybrid IT. Boomi wants you to, to thrive in that environment. Wants you to really get going and be able to easily unite that, aggregate that, filter that as necessary. So now I have a unified data set in which I can go and engage my sales force and my customers with. And that's really where we play, is trying to get it all to be reconnected or unified. It's essential, everything is about the customer experience. Stu and I were just at a show that was all focused on CX, but, but to have a good customer experience, you have to have the right technologies enabling your own workforce yeah. to deliver what the customer mm. needs because customer satisfaction yields business outcomes. It's a whole cycle there. Yeah. For, for our viewers who want a, a better vision of where does Boomi fit into, oh, I'm a, I'm a you know, I'm Dell EMC customer, I'm a VMware customer. Um, where does Boomi fit in and help these customers to transform that integration layer that allows them to take advantage of this exciting yeah. multi-cloud world? Yeah, so, so Lisa, I'll, let me just, I'll just tell you a really quick story. I'll tell you a personal story. Uh, when Boomi has been growing very, very rapidly, 62% growth last year alone, so we're adding people really, really fast. 
As a result of that scale, we were horrible at onboarding our new employees. We had a really bad problem. So we looked to our own platform to transform our business and our new, net new employees experience with that business. Long story short, we, I didn't have people, everybody was busy. I, get, I got one of our partners to use our platform to create an entire new employee onboarding process for Boomi. Our net new employee, just kind of jumped to the end of the, the, the deal, we now have a 21st century engagement mechanism for our employees. That, that uh, partner of ours put that whole solution together and put it into production in four months. Most importantly, let's talk about business outcomes. My net new employee NPS went from minus 76, worst number I've ever heard on anything, been in IT 30 years, to plus 92. Six months after it, it's, in, it's in production, we're ready to go. So now, to give you a sense, people used to have to fi fill out a case and, and go to our case management, fill out a case, schedule a meeting to get a picture taken to get their security badge. Now, selfie, do you like it? Submit, you're done. And all of that, the, the mobile app that, that tracks it and performs it, all the engagement, all the interaction with all the systems, we provision our employees across 27 different systems, all instantaneous. That used to take us 60 days to get them onto 60, you know, all those different systems. So all of those, those outcomes is all done with the Boomi platform. The integration requirements, the low code, and the mobile app is all Boomi. So that's why we focus on outcomes. So, Chris, in the keynote this morning, I uh, want to understand how Boomi fits into some of these environments. Uh, yeah. We saw Microsoft, obviously, a big push. Yep. Long Dell partner. And the other one, Kubernetes, is uh, to yes. the, the, the area for all the cloud-native discussion and various pieces. How, how do those fit into you know, your world? Yeah, so, so Stu, it's, it's really, first of all, that to really understand sort of the bigger picture with Dell and their transformation story, right? And, you know, essential hardware provider, infrastructure provider, you've got VMware and VirtuStream almost making it infrastructure as a service, sort of like the bottom of a triangle. You have Pivotal Cloud Foundry building applications for competitive advantage, right? And then no application works without data. So at the big, when you talk about it from a platform perspective, that's how I like to think about it and explain it to people. That's how Dell Technologies can bring all this to the table and focus it now on your transformation. When it comes to the specifics around you know, what VMware and Pivotal are doing with Kubernetes and Google and some other folks and so on, you know, our, the way we distribute integrations is basically via container technologies. We've had Docker support, now Kubernetes support, so it's very native to us. That's how you, we can manage it from one spot and yet deploy it really anywhere and as it runs. So there's a lot of data capabilities that, that really align very well with Pivotal. We also have the Pivotal Data Services tile. So if you're an application developer, you're building that really cool app and you know, an office ready to go, but you need data from somewhere, you click the Boomi tile, it's that data services tile, you can embed it right into your code, in and out comes the data sort of seamlessly for you. It's a much better experience for the developer. So all of these companies are coming together to make sure these platforms align in such a way that are transform and outcome focused for our Dell Technologies customers. We've heard a lot of that, companies coming together. Collaboration was one of the themes I took away from this morning's keynote with the guys and gals that were on stage. We've heard that from Dell Technologies, Dell EMC folks this morning, today, yourself. That collaborative effort is really clear. When you're talking to customers, Speaking of collabor collaborating yeah. with customers on, on the evolution and the iterations and things, what were some of the, the th I'm curious, the, the theme of Boomi World was you guys are going to reinvent iPads. Yeah. About five months since, you're yeah. smiling. Yeah. What, what, talk to us about how you've collaborated with some of your key customers to do that where you are today, five months after saying, hey, this is what we're going to do, we're going to shake this up. Yeah, listen, we, you know, um, the future of iPads is extraordinarily exciting, right? And come to Boomi World next year and we're going to tell you a really good story. Uh, but, but when you talk about uh, redefining the I and iPads, going from integration platform as a service to intelligent platform as a service, and how AI and ML can change this game, we brought together key partners who have had extensive experience both in AI, ML, a lot of big public companies that you would know, right? As well as our, our customers. And now you start looking at things in combination to dramatically speed up uh, how integration's done and who's capable of doing it. 
I always felt like if I could get integration down into the hands of business analysts and down into the hands of smart people but not software engineers, leave them for the really hard technical problems, the things that push your business forward, and not, hey, I need a data set from HR for salary reasons or whatever. And voice in combination with AI allowing you to generate and respond to natural language. Hey Salesforce, I'd like the pipeline report for Western North America, please. Back comes a data set. And, and, and all you have to do as a user of that is form a question and humans are awesome at that. They've been doing it since there too. And, and when you can start to leverage that kind of capability, AI, ML for natural language, right? You, you figure out how to interact with it. You get patterns on how to do that. That's in our database from the thousands of people that have interacted. So when we look at the future, leveraging our partners for skills that we don't, we're not expert at yet, AI, ML, give us a leap. Customers, what is it that you need us to do first, right? And we're starting to bring all that together in a very, very interesting way. All right, so Chris, Boomi has its own show, but I'm sure there's a lot of overlap between the customers here. What are some of the key objectives and you know, what, what, what's your team's goals for this week here at Dell Technologies World? Well this week here, you know, uh, we, we have a lot of customers here as well. You know, obviously in the Boomi World show, we, we're very specific to the user community that we've got. So you get a lot of tracks about specific tips and tricks that you can have and specific ways to do things, best practices. You know, did you know we could do this? Did you know that? All that kind of things. Here it's a little bit broader picture. You're dealing with a broader audience. There's more of an awareness. Uh, problem in some cases, some people aren't quite sure what Boomi does and why, De why Dell Technologies has a company like Boomi. Uh, so we're here to change that from an awareness side. We've got some really cool demos and how we do that and kind of engage. And then we have you know, our specific customers who we can pull off to the side and talk about their specific challenges. What's next for them? What are the next tra transformations they want to achieve? And what's the next outcome they've got in line and how can we partner with them to help them achieve that? So it's really kind of a two-fold kind of a thing. Our booth is awareness and you know, is there you know, an opportunity to work together? And partners, what's the next step for us? One of the things I heard when you shared that Boomi's personal story, the Boomi on Boomi story, was the massive impact that you've made to just the employee onboarding process. And I yeah. shouldn't say just, because we all know, we, again, we talked about customer experience a few minutes ago, and that's essential for any business. But to, to have a good customer experience, yeah. you have to have successful, enabled, productive employees yeah. on, the, on the, and all the lines, front lines, middle lines, back lines, et cetera. When you were talking with prospects who maybe are very familiar with Dell Technologies and, and, and most of the brands, how well does that story resonate that this is really fundamental integration, especially in this big multi-cloud, hybrid multi-cloud world in which we live, yeah. to have this integration as a core enabler of digital transformation, but also of employee experience, customer experience, business outcomes. Yeah, you know, Lisa, I, a lot of times when, when you talk to people, like I, if I were to tell you the Boomi story and we had never met, it's a little hard to believe that I could do that much and have that big of an impact in four months. It's, it's kind of like, ah, uh, okay, you know, is he selling me? And so, so a lot of times when we meet people for the first time, if we can get them to just give us a chance, you know, we do a lot of proof of concepts with people. We're cloud software, so I can give it to you right now. I could just set you up with an account in three minutes and you're off and running. So you can play with it, you can get experience with it, you can kind of understand how we do that. Like, like if we have a claim that we're six times faster than legacy uh, providers, it's like, well, how do you do that? Well, you get a sense of how we do that, right? And how we leverage metadata, we use AI to do that, we generate things for you, et cetera. So there's a bit of a awareness uh, and then they take that Missouri side, uh, but can you show me? I'm not <laughs> sure I believe you show me. We do that in POCs and then we can kind of really get the ball rolling. That tends to be the general pattern that we go through with net new customers and prospects to try and get them exposure. You guys have, I think it's over 8,000, over 8,200 customers we globally. Do. You got some big brands, you've got Lyft, you've got Sky, Chevron, GE. Uh, one of my favorite stories from Boomi World was one of your customer award winners, uh, Digital Angel. Yes. And how they're in reinventing this smart bed technology for yeah. hospitals in the Netherlands. And yep. I just think, I, 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 something I wasn't aware of before, even technology in a mattress. 
Yeah, you know, Talk it's, to us it's, about it's, how Boomi is an enabler. Well, there. it's such a great outcome story. It's it's so the the smart mattress is intended for the geriatric set nursing home settings and. The, one of the biggest, most fundamental problems with healthcare in a geriatric setting is infection with body sores, to cubes. And very simply, it, you know, moisture is a massive cause, lack of movement is a massive cause, and it depends a little bit on age and so on, but, you know, so the, they, they install the smart mattress in all the rooms. And it records, and, it, and it's monitoring your breaths, your perspiration, any moisture events, you know, your heart rate, uh, and, and so on. And all this data, it's just, it's just spitting out data, and Boomi's there to catch it. Now what Boomi does is it sits on the mattress and just processes data, and as long as everything's fine, it just sort of processes it. The minute any thresholds are met, met. So if you haven't moved in two hours, two hours is kind of a magic number for people. If you have not moved in two hours, Boomi immediately sends up an alert in the form of a case in, 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 in this case in uh, Tampa Bay, in their ServiceNow system, it shows up on their board, priority one case, go get Lisa and give her a nudge, get her to move around a little bit. Same with a moisture event, that's a, that's a priority one, go dry them and, you know, and, and so on. And they've been able to dramatically reduce the infection rate for the elderly as they reside in these nursing home settings, just to be attentive. They know immediately when something needs to be done and only when it's done. You don't get the false positive. So that setting to me, and what Digital Angel's doing with that mattress is changing outcomes. And then Boomi just sits on all the mattresses and communicates the individual to the, the common nursing setting. It's Pretty great. powerful stuff. It's awesome. Like I said, it's, it's fun when you can make such a big outcome change for people. That, when you get that kind of reduction in infections in a short period of time, it's very exhilarating. All right, so Chris, last thing I wanted to ask is, it, it's interesting, people always uh, often look at the pieces of the Dell family as independent and you know, on their own, they've got their brands, they're on the banner and everything, but we, you know, we talked to Rory about, and we, we saw on the stage this morning, a lot of how the pieces are really working together. Absolutely. From, from the top strategy all the way down to the field, how they're working together. Give, give us your perspective as one of the CEOs in the, the, the Dell family as to how that's moving. Stu, I refer to it, uh, you know, for, for folks as, uh, our unfair competitive advantage, right? It, it, it's as simple as that. The, the horsepower, the uh, just sheer sort of economies of scale, and the technical ability to innovate, the innovation and the customer first perspective that all these businesses bring together, as we come together and work together, we have an ability to change uh, customers' lives forever in combination. And there isn't any, but I haven't met a leader of a business that has said, well, wait a minute, where's my piece of the puzzle? Where is this? How do I win? There, there are no eyes when we come together. You know, Rory running the VirtuStream business, and we're talking about Boomi's now runs on VirtuStream, and you know, as you move mission critical applications, how, do, how can you get Boomi there so people can share the SAP data that's there now in VirtuStream into other parts of the organization? Talked about the pivotal tile. We talk, I've got some work going on with Sanjay at VMware, and it's just, and it's never I. It's always, how do we do more for our customers? And when we do that, and then you put the Dell go-to-market field behind it, I don't know how many there are, 20, 30,000 sales makers in Dell Technologies alone, doesn't include VMware and the rest of us. It's an extraordinarily powerful ecosystem that is focused on one thing, customer results. And I'll tell you, I find it to be, it couldn't be better. As a leader of a business when there, it literally couldn't be better. Wow, Chris, that is outstanding. Thank you so much for sharing your perspectives. My and pleasure. What's going on with Boomi. We look forward to seeing you at Boomi World 2019. Lisa, I can't wait. Stu, I hope you can make it this time. But thank you very much. I really appreciate you having me on. Oh, our pleasure. For Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching us live in Vegas, day one of Dell Technology World's 2019. Thanks for watching.